So this is the second major apartment building explosion in Montgomery County this year and the third since 2016. Yeah, we can never forget what happened at the oh, Flower yeah. Garden apartment complex. Chief investigative reporter Eric Flack is live at the Potomac Oaks, or at the Potomac rather, Oaks condominiums. Digging into that part of the story. Flack, what have you learned? Hey, Leslie, in the last 10 minutes, we're getting updated information about what investigators are finding out here tonight. In fact, right now, right behind me, you can see utility crews doing their work well into the evening. There are, though, some troubling trends when it comes to explosions related to gas leaks and gas lines. The fire chief said it was a gas fed fire in the basement of the structure, but would not go into details because of the ongoing investigation. Natural gas is not a suspicion. What I identified is, is that there was a gas fed fire present to us once we got here and that we had to then control the gas to shut that fire, to turn that fire off. The U.S. Department of Transportation Pipeline and Hazardous Materials Safety Administration, or PHMSA, says where the gas leak occurs is critical to figuring out what happened and assigning blame, if any. If the source of the gas is outside the building, it falls on the shoulders of the gas company, in this case, Washington Gas. If the source of the gas is inside the building, it's the responsibility of the building, apartment, or condo owner. Which leads us to a question from viewer Samuel Pusley from Largo, Maryland. In light of today's gas explosion and other prior gas explosions, why are homes, et cetera, still being built with gas lines as opposed to all electric? Yeah, I mean, that's an excellent question. <laughs> These explosions make a strong case for why we should be moving away from gas for new construction and to transitioning our existing homes to electric. I know Montgomery County is actually considering an all, all electric standard for new, no, new construction. This is the second major building explosion in Montgomery County this year and the third since 2016. In 2016, the Flower Branch apartment explosion in Silver Spring killed seven people, including two young children, and left dozens more displaced and injured. The National Transportation Safety Board concluded faulty gas equipment probably caused that tragedy. Then in March of this year, a blast at the Friendly Garden apartment, also in Silver Spring, sent 14 people to the hospital with injuries. The Montgomery County Fire Chief said investigators found a cut gas line in the basement of the apartment building, which was probably cut by a maintenance worker doing plumbing work. Now, just minutes ago, Washington Gas told us qualified technicians have conducted a leak survey here at the scene and no issues have been found. Meanwhile, late tonight, we're also learning into our newsroom that the Maryland Public Service Commission, as well as FIMSA, that's that federal agency, are both here on site. Why is that important? Because one handles leaks inside the building, one handles leaks outside the building. Lorenzo and Leslie, it appears at this hour, we still don't know where the problems started. Back to you. Yeah, and the chief says even though this many hours have passed, they're still very early in this investigation and yeah. it will take time. Yep. They're out there rubble too to figure a lot of this out. Flack, thank you. And you can expect more from WUSA 9 on this breaking news. We'll have the latest information from investigators and community leaders tonight on the news at 11 o'clock. You can also get updates on the free WUSA 9 app and our free streaming service, WUSA 9 Plus on Roku and Fire TV.